Hello, uh, my name is Jason Unger, and along with my teammates, Hannah Wood, Laura Wiener, and Matt Starr, we are very excited to introduce you to our app, Visit. Visit is a set of educational tools to be used by developers to see what's happening behind the scenes of their code. Um, this idea came from our shared experience here at Fullstack, where when we were first starting out, we weren't really sure what was happening behind the scenes of our JavaScript code. Um, so to talk about our first feature, here's Hannah. Thanks, Jason. The code visualizer takes the user's JavaScript code and creates a visualization representing the step-by-step -step execution of the program. So how did we build this? Well, we found some interesting research by a professor named Philip Guo, and what he did is he basically modified the Node C++ runtime by adding debugger statements in order to um, inspect the state of the code line by line. Uh, with his work, we're able to take the user's code input send it to the back end using Docker, and get back the entire stack trace of the code as an array of objects. Now, with this trace, we can create helpful visualizations. For example, these tables, which indicate the value of each variable, and this timeline, which represents the height of the call stack at each step. Now, these tools can be really useful for, for uh, difficult concepts like recursion and higher order functions and prototypal inheritance. Now, if we take a look at this Fibonacci function, which basically returns the nth number in the fib Fibonacci sequence, we can see that this specific implementation is not optimized. On the other hand, this implementation, which uses memoization, um, you can see from this call stack uh, the relative simplicity and how it indicates how much more efficient it is. And now, I'll hand it off to Laura, who will talk about our session functionality. Thanks, Hannah. So you've sandboxed your code, run the visualization, and now you want to be able to come back to it in the future. With an account, users can save any piece of code and see all their previous sessions. From the sessions page, users can name, tag, and delete sessions, and can search for sessions by name and tag. We thought that users might want to be able to save different iterations of their code, so we set up a version control system, allowing users to save new iterations without overwriting their past versions. We also incorporated a text difference algorithm library in order so that users can see the uh, lines of code that changed since their last iteration. And now to talk about our runtime analysis tool, here's Matt. Thanks, Laura. Our runtime analysis tool takes one or two functions and assesses their performance on user-provided inputs. Using Docker and Benchmark JS, we benchmark each function on the provided inputs, send back statistically significant results to our front end, um, at which point we generate a D3 scatter plot um, and additional information to help inform the user of the function's relative performances. Let's revisit our implementations of Fibonacci. When we run these functions on a range of inputs, we can see clearly from the scatter plot how the non-optimized solution grows like approximately exponentially in size of input, while the optimized solution that uses memoization grows linearly. Um, initially, we wanted to do this benchmarking in the user's browser using web workers, but ultimately, we found it much simpler and more consistent to use the same Docker container that we were using for our visualization tool. Thanks. So looking ahead, we're planning on adding additional statistical methods to be able to better portray um, the big O complexity of the functions that users provide through our runtime analysis tool. In addition, uh, we hope to add support for additional use cases as well as languages besides JavaScript. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed this brief glimpse into all that our app can do. So feel free to give us a visit at visit.tech or check out our code on GitHub. Thank you.